Welcome back to this channel. Today, we're going to explore one of the most important things in English. Nouns. They're like the name tags for everything around us. A noun is just a special word that names things, people, places, and stuff you can touch, like toys or apples. Imagine saying cat. That's a noun. It's a word that tells us about a thing, a cute, furry pet. When we say London, we're talking about a place, a city where lots of people live. And love is like a noun for feelings, it's that warm, happy thing you feel inside. Nouns are all around us. See this book. It's a noun because it's something you can hold and read. Your phone, a noun, is that thing you use to call your friends. And your cup, another noun, is for sipping your favorite drinks. Now, let's talk about how nouns help us make sentences. They can be the doors or the receivers of actions in a sentence. In the sentence the cat is happy, cat is the star. It's doing the action of being happy. In I read a book, book gets the action of being read. And in she lives in London, London is the place where she lives. Understanding nouns is like learning the alphabet of sentences. It's where we start, and it makes speaking and writing so much easier. In English, there are several main types of nouns, including, concrete noun. These nouns refer to physical objects that can be seen, touched, and felt. Examples, cat, car, and book. Abstract noun. Abstract nouns refer to concepts, feelings, or ideas that cannot be seen or touched. Examples, love, freedom, and idea. Proper noun. Proper nouns are specific names referring to particular entities. Examples, John, a person's name, Paris, a city name, and Coca-Cola, a brand name. Common noun. Common nouns refer to nonspecific or general entities. Examples, man, city, and book. Countable noun. Countable nouns refer to objects that can be counted individually, both in singular and plural forms. Examples, apple and apples. Uncountable noun. Uncountable nouns refer to substances, materials, or concepts that cannot be counted individually. Examples, water, information, and love. Collective noun. Collective nouns refer to a group of objects or people treated as a single unit. Examples, team, family, and herd. Possessive noun. Possessive nouns are used to indicate ownership or possession. Examples, John's car and the company's success. Understanding these types of nouns is crucial in comprehending sentence structure in English and how they interact with other words in a sentence. Remember, nouns are the names of the people, places, things, and ideas that make up our world. Whether you're just starting your English journey or you're already on your way, understanding nouns is a fundamental step. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming lessons on English grammar and language learning. Thank you for joining us today and being part of our language learning community. Keep practicing, keep exploring, and keep learning.